Hi everyone, we are back with our shared reading. Uh, it is a nonfiction, which means it's true. And this is uh, considered a technical text. So this might be a little more difficult to read. You might have more vocabulary uh, that you have to take a closer look at. The standard is analyze text elements. And the skill we're working on is describe text connections. And the title is how to make guacamole. Once again, remember, we number our paragraphs in our shared reading, so we could quickly go down and say, look at paragraph two, and you would know it's here. Even if we took those away, you would still know you're looking at a paragraph because it indents. At the bottom, I noticed something here. Also, we have ingredients, so it looks like we will be making, you know, a recipe for guacamole. So let's get started. Guacamole, this is um, called phonetic spelling and this helps you say the word before it. They use letters that sound like uh, what the word would be. So guacamole, guacamole is a dip made from avocados. The tasty treat pairs well with chips and is often served with spicy foods such as tacos and Fajitas, that J makes an H sound for this word. Did you know that avocados are also called alligator pears? That's partly because they are shaped like pears and have bumpy green skin, like alligators. Although avocados may look like vegetables, they are actually fruit. When making guacamole, it's best to use ripe avocados. Here's how to make an avocado recipe. Oh, make sure an avocado is ripe. First, carefully press your thumb down on the skin. If it's really hard, the avocado is likely not ripe yet. If the skin moves a little, then it's probably ready to eat. So if it moves a little bit, pushes in a little bit. Make sure the avocado is not too soft though. If you can squash the skin down a lot, an avocado may be overripe and mushy inside. So some of the things that we see on this page um, is this phonetic spelling. When you see something in parentheses like this, it is meant to help you with the word before it, to say the word before it. Another thing we see in here is, uh, it's kind of an interesting fact. Um, did you know that avocados are called alligator pears? They use a question here to tie, like to hook you into this portion of the writing. And then they tell you why they call them alligator pears, because they are shaped like pears and have bumpy green skin like alligators. Another thing we have in this paragraph or in this section are contractions. And a contraction, this one here that we looked at is it's, and it stands for it is. So if you can replace this word it's with it is, you know you're using the right contraction. So when you're trying to make guesses at what the contraction means, you can use that little rule. So if I reread this and said, if it's really hard, the avocado is likely not ripe yet. I could reread re that and say, if it is really hard, the avocado is likely not ripe yet. And I don't know if you noticed, but there are other contractions in here too. I noticed one up here, that's, and that little, uh, this little mark here tells me that's a contraction. So that one is, that is, and I could reread that and say, that is partly because they are shaped like pears and have a bumpy green skin like alligators. And then there was another one here. This one says, here's which is short for here is. And if I wanted to double check myself, I could reread that sentence and say, here is how to make an avocado, make sure an avocado is ripe. And it made sense. 